Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Direct once again. I'm out here in Jacksonville, Florida right now, supporting my dude Mike Sick right now. But look, URL TV's Ascension is it's the 9th, I think it's the 11th, so it's two days away right now. So I wanna do a last minute rundown and talk about some of these battles. But I'm gonna breeze through it real quick. Y'all know I'm long-winded. I'll take 35 minutes to talk about three battles. I'm not gonna do that this time. So check it out. I'm gonna start from the bottom of the card, work my way up to the main event. And let's just break down some of these battles because I see a lot of predictions out there. But I'm just gonna give you the direct spill, the real rap real shit. So here we go. So we got Dot and Mo Moody. Now I heard a lot of people saying this is the graveyard card, this is the Undertaker versus Kane WWE sparks flying out the ring, jump off joint. Um I wouldn't say this this is the URL graveyard battle, but it's kind of like the second chance. It's like uh it, if something happened to you and and, and you had a bad performance on stage or you fell out of fan favor, um, and then this is the card for you. I think a lot of people rock with Dot, and especially after the Bill Collector battle and after the Umbretta thing, that I feel like him falling off fan favor-wise is, is not really, it might put him at a disadvantage in his next battle. And I would say that is the impression that this battle with Mola Momula gives me. Um, I like Dot, man. I, I, I think he goes hard. You know what I'm saying? He can laugh at himself. I, I think he's dope. And I think he has a star quality that not a lot of people have. Um, Momula's dope, but I really feel like Dot's star quality will shine through in this battle. And he'll get people back on his side. And it seems like URL wants to push him. So I'm going to go Dot 2-1. I think he's going to have one of the funniest moments of the night. And I think he's going to have... You know, some electrifying lines that are gonna have people laughing. Um, St. Mike and Fettuccini 20. Both these brothers are nice. I think uh, St. Mike does better in small rooms to me. I've, I've seen him do good on one or two of stages, but I am a huge fan of St. Mike's word playing lyricism. I like the way he breaks his shit down and I've really been hoping that he could just put it all together and convey it to a crowd in a way that they'll really receive. And I think Fettuccini 20 is dope, but he just, he just needs that, that, that key performance that's going to make newer fans say, yo, get that fettuccine dude again. You know, um, I don't know. I think fettuccine has an advantage, but I will say that if, if St. Mike can really get his performance together, I think he'll cook a lot of cats, man. So maybe I, I, I give an edge to fettuccine because I just don't know if St. Mike can really put it together. But his recent battles, if you've been watching, fire. Hopefully this battle is really good for both of them and puts them on a whole nother plateau. So I, I, I guess slight edge to Fettuccini on that. Um, Dougie versus J400 Block. Every time I hear Dougie, I think of that Nat Fro and I think of the battle with Chess. That shit was so crazy. Shout out to We Go Hard. Um, J400 Block. I like him, man. I think he's really dope. And I just think that his performances don't really come up on camera the way he really wants them to. I feel like he's had some dope performances, and I don't know if it's just the timing of the night or what, but I, I, I feel like he, he's a little bit slept on. But I feel like he spits like some raw hood shit that I feel like a lot of URL fans should be able to appreciate, but it doesn't seem like they always do at different times. Um, for that reason, I'm gonna give an edge to Dougie because he goes hard, the crowd seems to like him. And he's not a graveyard dude. He's still a dude on the come up, you know what I mean? This could be a battle to get both of them another shot on a main card as an opening battle or whatever for one of the bigger cards, but I give the edge to, I'm gonna go with Dougie because I, I wanna see Jay really connect with that URL crowd. So I give the edge to Dougie. Um, Snake Eyes and Tom Montana, man. I think this could potentially be one of the two best battles of the night. Um, I know a lot of people give Tom Montana slack because he was going so hard with his class. You know, it, when Tom Montana first came out, everybody knew he was the dude. Um, then, you know, he forget, forgets his rhymes from time to time, but when he battled Dre Dennis, yo, when Dre Dennis trying to graduate on him and threw his cap in the air and he said the freestyle and all that shit, Tom Montana's raw. I think Tom Montana is one of the best. Uh, he has one of the best sounds, one of the best voices for battle rap. 
but he just needs to put it all together and show everybody that. I think he's another one that could be a star in the making. Snake Eyes, I'm a huge fan of his battle with Ryder. Um, I, I, I just think if Tom Montana puts it all together and I think he kind of has the battery in his back to do so right now, he's really creative, man. And I think Snake Eyes is gonna go straight through. He's gonna spit aggressive shit. He's gonna have the crowd rocking, but I think Tom Montana just has uh, the weapons in his arsenal to kind of go up a notch on cats. And, and uh, yo, like, it, he's in that hood lane with his delivery, but just some of the creative things he says and the things that's, that he has the skill to do, I think might overpower Snake Eyes. So I'm gonna go a 2-1 Tom Montana, but I think that's gonna be one of the best battles of the night. If you watch my blog with Chef Trez and June Peas, you already know how I feel about Reaper Rell and Real Deal. For those that didn't see it, I'm gonna break it down to you like this real easy. I don't think Real Deal should be on this card. I think Real Deal has earned his way onto a summer madness, onto a gnome, you know what I mean? I just don't know if they don't have the right matchup for him. They're not trying to push him like that. They want to use him as a stepping stone. I don't know what URL's doing with him. URL's one of the best in my, I mean URL. Real Deal's one of the best in my opinion. He's one of the best in the history of battle rap. He's one of the best uh, angle-based rappers. And I think that's exactly what he's going to display. Last time they tried to put him up against Snow, see what happened. I'm not saying Reaper Rell is Snow, but he, Real Deal is just a different type of beast. He should be battling the top, top, top notch dudes. No disrespect to Reaper Rell at all, because he's dope. The face paint, yo, the, the black blade, Braveheart shit, it be having me going, man. I really like Reaper Rell. Uh, and he is creative with his delivery and the, his movements and the, and the way, way he digs in while he's rapping, but I like that uh, Blue Easy and the Reaper Rell. But um, Real Deal, man, like I said, man, he's gonna come up with some crazy angle about why he paints his foot, face uh, white and blue and the white is going to represent something, the blue is going to represent something. And I think Real Deal is just going to be uh, another animal and he's going to potentially have the performance of the night. And I think Real Deal might have the body of the night. Not saying Reaper Rell is whack, but just saying this is a very hard matchup for him because you gave Real Deal a dude to wear face paint. So I don't, I don't know, man. Good luck to Reaper Rell. I hope he survived that one. But Real Deal is going to go off, man. That's my prediction on that battle. Um, Rich I'm Nice versus Prep. Yo, for y'all don't know who Rich I'm Nice is, it's Rich Dallas. Um, change his name, new mind frame. Uh, I'm, I'm was a fan of Rich Dallas, um, especially his daylight performance. Um, I think Prep learned his lesson against Chilla Jones, man. Prep has already had like the, the classic with Saga as far as being able to freestyle and all that shit. Like, I think his repertoire is gonna be too much, man. I think it's gonna kind of be like the Tone Montana battle. I think, I think Rich is gonna do good enough to be welcome back to the URL roster. You know what I mean? I think he's gonna have some really good moments, but I think Prep is gonna hit him with them freestyles. And Rich is giving people a lot of ammo. You know what I'm saying? With with how he disappeared from battle rap. I think Prep is gonna use all that against him. It's gonna rock the crowd. They are gonna fuck with Rich. He gonna get his spot back, but Prep is gonna take that. I say Richard come out crazy in the first round, and then Prep is going to get get it uh, two to one at the end of the day. So Young Cannon and Money Bags, everybody already knows this is supposed to be the greatest joint of all time and everything. Um, I, obviously, I, I think I think this is going to be the true battle of the night, undisputed. Um, I think both of them are in a position where they've killed it on other leagues. They face top level opponents. They have a lot of momentum right now. Fans love them right now. But we all know they come from that street battle rap background. And it's going to be a sight to see. A lot of people are going to be saying that, oh, I can't pick a winner. It's going to be close. 2-1 either way. Even though this is a difficult decision for me, and it's not etched in stone or nothing, I would say money bags because Young Cannon is really dope. And I think he earned his spot back off of just hard work and writing his ass off and coming up and getting a better performance and just adapting the opponents the right way. But I think Moneybags just has like an extra oomph, like an extra star power to where he can clown, he can say certain things and it just comes off a certain way that a lot of people really like it. Um, you know, hit it with the what's up my man and, and all that shit. And I, I think, I think Moneybags, first of all, I think both of them are gonna earn the spot. 
on URL roster consistently. But I think money bags might go to the next stratosphere. Very close battle, 2-1. I think it's gonna be one of them joints where nobody can call the first round, nobody can call the second round. And money bags might take off this much more in the third round, but definitely battle of the night joint. And then the last battle is Cortez and Prez Mafia. I think the battles with the storylines and the Twitter arguments are the ones that really get us all riled up, let us rise to the occasion. Um, I would say Cortez is like real deal in the sense that maybe he shouldn't be on this card, but on the other hand, this card does need a main event and Prez Mafia versus Cortez really feels like it. Um, okay, she's parking right there. So Cortez and Prez Mafia really feels like it. I think Prez Mafia is on a mission to really prove himself, to prove that he needs to end up in this spot that he should have been in a year and a half ago. You know, around maybe before he battled DNA or after he battled DNA. Um, I would say Cortez has an uphill battle with Prez Mafia, but Cortez has been rising to the occasion. Uh, one of his rounds versus Daylight, I think the third round, fire. One of the best Cortez rounds I heard in a minute. Plus off the hills of the big K shit. I mean, Cortez has been killing shit. He's been on a streak and he's still on a streak of whooping motherfuckers' asses. If it wasn't for that streak, I might give it to Prez Mafia, but I think Cortez. Cortez got the momentum going into this. The only thing I will say though is Cortez doesn't always have the best performances on URL. My favorite Cortez performance on URL was against Hitman, but that was a minute ago, man. I, we need a key Cortez performance so he can keep getting that top here money you heard but Prez Mafia is gonna be nice I'm gonna make a bold statement two ones two ones two ones that's the easy way to predict battle I'm gonna say Cortez 3-0 I think he's gonna edge the first two and he's gonna take off in the third Prez Mafia is nice but I think Cortez just writes with a certain level of creativity that he's been forced to write with because he's been forced to battle numerous different types of opponents and different countries, different states, different arenas, different kind of fans. And I just think that makes you a little more seasoned. So let's see what it is, man. I'm excited for URL's extension. extension. I'm excited for URL TV's Ascension card. Let's see if some of these motherfuckers ascend. If not, better luck next year. Holla.